Hey, tubers of the U. All right, we're going to be looking at uh, what's called an ECM motor. <clears throat> so this is a fan with an ECM motor in it. <clears throat> ECM stands for electrically commutated motor or electronically commutated motor. Um, and it's brushless. It's a DC brushless motor. And it's just instead of using brushes, we're using a transistor uh, to switch it on and off. Um, so it's powered with our input power and uh, that's used to power it and it also spits out electrical energy and we're going to be charging this capacitor right here and then uh, dumping the capacitor into the light bulb and we have to do it this way because the light bulb there's not enough electrical energy coming back out of this okay and I'll explain that reason here in a minute but these motors with uh, ECM motors in it they can be 90% efficient and I believe one of the reasons why is that if you look right here you got four stator coils here uh, on four cores and if you look at these cores see they are shaped to cover pretty much the entire magnetic field plus they also go not only do they go around the front of the coils they go back behind the coils as well and in this way, uh, we can utilize the entire magnetic field uh, in front of and behind the, the uh, stator coils. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, so in this way, we can transfer all the energy from our coils into our rotor. And if you look at the magnet in the rotor, our stator coils are pretty much covering that entire surface area like that and this is how I believe that the 90% efficiency is in the form of mechanical energy uh, I also believe that these uh, fans and the motors inside of them can be uh, over unity but only in the form of mechanical energy in addition to electrical energy so right now, uh, I have it completely dead short circuited with this yellow wire right here uh, to show that it can run just fine with the output completely dead short circuited. So let's do that right now. Turn it on. Give it a little spin. Okay. Uh, so right now, it's completely dead short circuited. It's still running. Um, the input current is not affected hardly at all and I'll take the short off to show you the difference uh, and what it does to the input current which isn't very much um, again the electrical energy is not very much coming out of it I calculated something like just a mere one percent so it's not a lot and so because of that we have to charge it into the capacitor to show that there is indeed electrical energy coming out um, so let's take that short off and uh, you can see right here it's obviously shorted because there's zero volts in the capacitor so it's not enough to run the, run the light directly the light bulb load so let's take the short off and as you can see uh, there's now a little bit more voltage here, about 100 millivolts. It's nothing. Uh, so the light bulb itself is still acting like a short. So what we're going to do is we're going to unscrew it. And start charging our capacitor up. And you, you see the input current has really not changed. In fact, it drops a little bit, of course, because uh, the rotor has sped up a little bit, too. So now, what this is, is we have power, and let's, let's in fact, let's take a look at the uh, exact amount of power that is powering our fan, which is transferring 90% of that power, and you take 0 .053 uh, watts, or 53 milliwatts, times our 12.28, 
and we get uh, 651 milliwatts uh, or 0.650 watts is what's powering our fan so we got a 90% transfer of energy into our uh, rotor magnets to spin the fan okay mechanically and we also have electrical energy coming back out now it's not a lot okay so this is why we have to uh, wait a while to charge our capacitor and we're going to get this up to about the light requires about 12 to 14 volts so we'll let this charge up to about 14 volts as you can see it takes quite a while because again it's not a lot of energy coming out of this <coughs> um, but the uh, energy transfer uh, from our, our power source right here is 12 volts of course 12.28 volts it's DC at a 53 milliamps of current is what's going in here and so it's receiving and putting out about 90 percent into the rotor to spin it so let's get this up let's wait here for a minute <coughs> to get this up to about 13 14 volts and then we'll dump it to show that there is indeed uh, electrical energy coming out of our fan so it's a trade-off really between mechanical energy and torque and uh, electrical energy and another reason why I think that there's not a this is where I used the timer I just pulsed the coils inside of there uh, directly uh, and I did get a little bit more energy out of it but it's still a small amount there are 73 ohms of resistance in each one of these coils so that might be a contributing factor and I did measure the inductance and uh, I can't remember what they are right off hand but um, it was pretty small so they can't store a lot of energy so I'm working on other designs alright so it's almost got this got 14 volts let's flash this now we'll just screw it back in and you saw that flash you can also hear the rotor slow down a little bit but look our input current is hardly affected as you can see with the dead short circuit across it it doesn't really affect it and so so there's electrical energy coming back out so that's about all for right now um, so please uh, please like and share and if you have any comments leave those down below in the box and um, if you're new to the channel please hit that button right down there and subscribe and uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video have a good one